three brand new 3D printers for 2023. I'm talking about the QD Tech X Max 3, X Plus 3, and the X Smart 3. Well, I myself, I have the X Plus. I never saw that there was a two in between, but hey, there must be something special about these 3D printers. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. This channel is about 3D printing and everything that is, you know, 3D printing. Guess that's right. In this video, I'm going to talk about news related things about 3D printing. It can be a closer look. It can be a brand new 3D printer or 3D printer series that is going to hit the market any soon. And you want to know, what do I think about it? Is it worth checking it out or you didn't hear any news and you are thinking like, hey, what is this? What is the QD Tech doing right now? Once in a while, I make these kind of videos to inform you as a viewer about brand new 3D printers that are going to hit the market besides the normal content that I usually make. Well, let's dive into the, these 3D printers and see where it is all about. So let's dive right into the three printers. Let's start first with the X Max 3. What can you expect? Because this is the highest in the price range of those brand new 3D printers. Faster printing speed, 600 millimeters per second. Bigger than bigger? Bigger than bigger. What is that for something to say about a 3D printer? Bigger than what? Bigger than bigger? If you have big, bigger, big, biggest well i don't know what qd tech wants to say with this but hey it has a printing volume of 325 times 310 25 times 325 so you can print pretty large larger than something that i have standing behind me or bigger than normal creality and the three for reverence i flow 35 millimeters cubed per second acceleration 20,000 millimeters per second square. Well, I think, in my honest opinion, I think that it is pretty fast. This is what they say the best industrial grade FDM high speed all around 3D printer. With this 3D printer, QD Tech wants to, you know, hit the industrial market with a lower price 3D printer without losing speed of printing because there are more on this 3D printer that meets the eye. What can you expect of this 3D printer? What do I think about the outside of this 3D printer? Hey, I like to see how a printer looks like. I mean, you can have a fast printer that performs pretty well, but I also do like to see something nice standing in one of my shelves, on my desk, maybe on the floor. It needs to look nice as well. On a 3D printer, and I think that this is going to be a thing for coming years, Clipper. Clipper is a, a system that says to the 3D printer how everything should run. So you have the controller board linked with a Raspberry Pi or a Raspberry Pi kind of board that sits in the 3D printer and tells what to do. Something else that is also interesting it is a core XY system. The X and the Y axis are working together to move the whole print head over the horizontal surface, while the Z axis is going up and down over the Z axis. Of course, you guessed it right. QD Tech High Speed Extruder. I, it says there, but is it really fast? We had some numbers, high flow, 35 millimeters cubed per second. But if this is a high flow, I mean, 600 millimeters per second, the flow of the filament needs to be fast as well. Max 3 configures the above technology for truly fast printing. For example, Clipper, several weeks ago, or I think a few months ago, I said we went from an 8-bit board, we skipped 16-bit. I don't know if there was a 3D printer that came out with a 16-bit processor, and now you have a 32-bit everywhere. I made a little joke saying, okay, what is the next step? A 64-bit board? There you have it. It's a Cortex-A53 main frequency 1.5 gigahertz, an 8G EMMC and a 1G DDR3 RAM. I think that, I think the last one is RAM. Upgraded lightweight structure. Weight reduced to 600 grams from 1600 grams. Where comes the 1600 grams from? From previous printers from them i mean we are talking about 1.6 
kilograms for a for the whole structure does that mean the mechanical structure or is it just what we are seeing right here print hat and the in this case the x axis and hence strength 6 to 12 times stronger than steel i think they are using maybe carbon because i know that bamboo labs uses uh, carbon rods in order to to keep that part light weighted so this printer is going also the direction of bamboo labs a core x y and that is also i'm going to make a reference with the bamboo labs uh, x1c it is also a core x y it is also a fast 3D printer. So Core XY structure, TMC2209 silent drivers, less noise. I bet it is silent. Steadier, stronger, faster extrusion. A 9.5 to 1 gear ratio. By this 3D printer, and I do need to say that the X Plus came also with two, two print heads. This one comes with a two sets of hot ends. The one is a copper uh, alloy nozzle, hardened steel no nozzle, both 350 degrees Celsius max print temperature. Controlled temperature chamber and drying box. Independent heating device. Maximum temperature is 65 C and a high efficiency printing for PET, carbon fiber, uh, nylon HTCF, PACF, carbon fiber, etc. Uh, chamber circulation fan with activated carbon air filter. It says it all. And also, like mentioned, a dry box for the special filaments like carbon fiber. So there is a difference, of course, uh, no layer separation, meaning like, hey, if you're printing normally and material starts a little bit, you know, warping, well, the heat chamber or the chamber heating prevents from that happening. Resonance compensation, this has to do with the fact that Clipper is installed. There are many things that you can switch on and switch off with Clipper. I, myself, I didn't use it that much, but you can tweak Clipper so much that you get some nice results out of it. I don't know how QD Tech handles Clipper, but you know, in time we can tell. Auto leveling, this printer comes with a intelligent leveling 16 points. Automatic, nice. We all want it. Oh my gosh, are we doing this? Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop. Okay, I know from QD Tech, uh, I also have a very nice flexible print bed. It sticks nicely. Excellent adhesion, no warping trouble, easy to remove the prints. Huh. Excellent user experience. Hi, acclaimed QD Slicer software has both normal mode and expert mode which is also easy for beginners to get started so the qd tech x plus 3 what are you going to expect well i can all right tell you the x plus 3 is not like the normal x plus that one is from 2017 2018 and i bought it in 2022 i am behind oh my gosh but hey what is so special about this 3D printer? Well, I can already tell you it is a Core XY. Faster print speed. This is similar like the one that we saw before, only a size smaller because the print size, uh, bigger than bigger, 280 times 280 times 270. High flow, 35 millimeters cubed per second and an acceleration of 20,000 millimeters per second square. Clipper, Core XY structure, QD Tech. We already had this one by the X Max 3, so I don't have to go through all of this. The X Plus 3 configures the above technologies for truly fast printing. Clipper, there is also the 64 bit processor, everything very similar like the X Max 3. Core XY, also the same, everything is the same. Also, this 3D printer has a controlled temperature chamber plus a drying box. Yeah, nice. Yeah, the QD Tech X Smart 3 faster speed 500 millimeters per second. So, this is a hundred millimeters per second slower, but the acceleration still the same 20,000 millimeters per second square. The flow 30 millimeters cube per second, and the printing size is 180 times 180 times 170. So, this is a smaller 3D printer. The flow is also a little bit less, but hey. The, the print speed is 500 millimeters instead of 600. So it all makes sense, but the acceleration is still the same. Also this 3D printer, it has clipper, 
it is a Core XY, it has a QDTAC high speed extruder. This one also has a 64 bit processor. I think that QDTAC had something like, you know what, we are going to put that on all of the 3D printers with some little differences. But I'm wondering if you push the printing speed to 600 millimeters per second square would that be possible i think yes but why they didn't do that on this one if everything is all the same nearly the same why is the printing speed a little bit less it is a core xy it has basically everything the same but it is smaller also the gantry system 600 grams from 1600 grams i'm really curious where they made this comparison with but what are the prices of these 3D printers? Well, the X Max 3 is 1,099 US dollars. The X Plus 3, 799 US dollars. And the X Smart 3, the cheapest, is 479 US dollars. What do I think about these 3D printers? Well, it depends. If you are a starter, if you want to upgrade your previous 3D printer to something a little bit more high-end or a little bit more professional, then the XSmart 3 or the X Plus 3 would be a great choice because it is not bank breaking because for less than $500, you can have the X Smart with a volume of 180 times 180 by 170. It's a little bit smaller in height than, for example, the Prusa Mini, which is 180, 180, 180, but it is fully enclosed and you can print some amazing stuff with it. But if you want to have a bigger printer and still be on budget, 799 US dollars, 280. 280 times 270 millimeters and also printing temperatures up to 350 degrees C and having a temperature controlled chamber and also a dry box for your filaments that are fragile to the environment. But if you are really going for it, well, we have the X Max for 1099 US dollars, 325 times 325 times 350. 25 millimeters for myself i just bought the x plus last year i'm not really sure if i'm going to invest my money in this because my resources are pretty limited but if i would have for example 1200 dollars i definitely would go for the x plus 3 i think having a printer from this size can give you more possibilities you can print bigger things on it with some high-end material everybody Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, share this video with other people and maybe also on social media. And I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.